experimental determination of the formula unit of a compound. Weigh the crucible without the lid and record the mass. Place approximately 0.25 gram zinc powder into the crucible. Weigh the crucible with its contents and determine the exact mass of zinc. This step must be done in the fume hood. Carefully add in 10 ml of 6 molar HCl solution into the crucible containing the zinc powder and stir the contents gently using a glass rod. A vigorous chemical reaction will occur and hydrogen gas will be released. If the zinc powder does not dissolve completely, add another 5 ml of the 6 molar HCl solution. Continue adding the acid 5 ml at a time until all of the zinc dissolve. Not all zinc will dissolve since the zinc used is not pure. The amount of acid to be used must not exceed 20 ml. Try to stop swirling for a while. Look at the solution in the crucible. The one with the floating is the impurities and the one in the bottom is the pure zinc. So you have to make sure the pure zinc is fully dissolved and no bubbling. Place the crucible on a hot plate in the fume hood and heat the contents slowly so that the compound will not splatter during the heating process. Heat the compound until it is completely dry but make sure that the compound does not melt. This step might take 30 to 40 minutes. As you can see in the video, this is the example of the compound when it's dry. Once the compound is dry, take out the crucible to your bench and allow it to cool to room temperature and then weigh it again. Reheat the crucible for about 1 minute, then let it cool to room temperature and weigh it again. Repeat this procedure until the difference in mass is not more than 0.02 gram. Lastly, determine the mass of zinc chloride from the final weight of the sample. Calculate the mass of chlorine in the zinc chloride. Once the mass of zinc and chlorine is obtained, calculate the formula unit of zinc chloride.